Hey YouTube, it's Garo from Alex Studios and today I'll be bringing you the best recording software for screen recording or for your computer that I've found. So you know that there's Fraps and Hypercam too and they're both really good except Fraps tends to take up a lot of space and Hypercam it doesn't record as good quality as Fraps and DxTory it's like both of them combined but it's really awesome. So where you want to go is um, go on Google Chrome whatever you're using and so this is the site so you can just go to Google oh well yeah type in DX story so that's the program and then it'll probably be the first one and then click if you're Chinese you can go Chinese but anyway click English and you'll come up to the main site here anyway so you can go download and this is the latest version 2.0.1020 I have this this one 119 but they're both pretty much the same um, and that's the free version um, you can see there's uh, over 100,000 downloads over 60,000 downloads and over here you can buy it but I'll go over that in part 2 probably um, then when you download it you install it and all and then it'll probably come up icon I like an icon so click on it yes <clears throat> and this is what's gonna pop up it looks similar to fraps except um, it might look pretty weird, but when when I go through it with you, you'll understand. So this one doesn't, um, you don't need to know that much. But this is the first tab. This means so when you're not when you're not recording. So say I'm playing here, I'm playing Minecraft, and I'm playing it. If I'm not recording in the top left corner, as you can see here, it's gonna 69. Wow. Um, it's gonna give you the frame rate at which the, you're playing and you're gonna record it and it's going to be green which means you're not you're not recording and as soon as you start recording it's going to change to red so you can change the color here by clicking on it going here and finding one but i choose red and green you can also just move it around wherever you want say top right top left bottom left wherever so that's the first tab here i find this is pretty cool um so you can save you can select where you want to save it at so here you can add another folder so you can save it two places and you just check the box for whichever folder you want to save in and that's pretty cool um, oh yeah up here um, you can select from some programs that you've recently run so yeah this is my series that I'm doing anyway um, the hotkeys you can change if you want so start stop capturing is F12 um, I prefer to leave it as the default so it's much easier to use and okay so this is the next tab the actual recording so first thing you want to do is go here there's this little pencil here and this is the main part it gives you an option to record in low quality medium high or true true takes up a lot of space like a gig or two per minute so I don't only use it I don't only recommend it actually if you have a pretty good computer and well you can record that fast and at that high quality high quality is normal I prefer medium quality because my computer is not that good and I don't want to lag it or anything and it doesn't take up too much space so select whatever quality you want and make sure you click compress so it flattens out the video and it cuts like it cuts the actual size in half and that's pretty useful so I usually go medium so I'll go I'll probably show you the um, actual recording in the next video so part two and click OK when you're done Here's the next part, the frame rate. Select the frame rate you want. Um, I usually go 30. Um, file output AVI, that's like the average. So you can watch the video later on. Um, at at um, scaling, go size and do one, um, 1280 by 720. That's the most common. And then that's it. So when you're done, no OK or anything. Um, then here, <coughs> sorry, it's just a bit cold and so here you have to select so if you're gonna be going live you find your number one and click your microphone so I'm using a Microsoft live cam and then here's um, for speakers I use speakers so that it picks up the sound and for one it's the microphone so yeah and you can add more so for three if you have more speakers or anything you can do that but since I only use two of the speakers and the microphone, I don't need to add anything. <clears throat> so this is the screenshot tab here. You can select like the size of the screenshot you want. So if you want it to cover the whole screen or a specific part, 
Um, here you can save it as JPEG, PNG, whatever. You can select the quality. Um, I'm not sure how high it can go. Uh, hundreds the max. Include mouse cursor um, with whatever you want. I personally haven't touched this because I don't need to. I can just print screen when I want to and edit it out. Um, this is some advanced settings, um, some other bullshit. And here is the information tab, which you don't really need to know unless you want to know if you're registered or not. I mean, and yeah, that's pretty much it. So that's how to use DX Tori. In part two, I'll be going through the actual recording. I am recording with Hypercam right now because I can't record with DX Tori and show you, and it's going to be slow. So I have to record with Hypercam, and it's not that good quality, as you can see. Low frame rate and all. So I'm registered and expires unlimited. So in the next video, I will tell you how to buy it and everything, go through the actual recording, how good the quality is of the video. And if you want, um, tell me in the comments if you want me to get a cracked version of this. So put a link up for you guys or something in the next video so that you can crack it. <clears throat> so yeah, um, that's it guys. Thanks for watching. Like, favorite, subscribe for more. and. If it's uploaded, I'll have part two, the annotation, up on the screen right now. Okay, yeah, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.